Hey everyone, this is Troy from TroyPoint.com and in this video I will show you how to install the downloader app on Fire Stick, Android TV, Google TV, and Android phones and tablets. I will also show you how to set the proper storage permissions which will allow for side loading applications. Before I get started, I'm curious to hear what devices you guys are using the downloader application on. Tell us in the comments below. Okay, I'm going to start with the Amazon Fire TV Stick 4K Max. I'm going to move over, hover over the search icon, type in downloader. After you type in the first few letters, it will show up in the list here. Go ahead and click downloader. Now from time to time, there are downloader imposters that put their apps in the Amazon App Store and Google Play. Make sure you're getting the downloader app by AFTV News. When you go into it, you'll see it says developer. AFTV News. That's the one that you want. I'm going to click download. Okay, I'm not going to open the app just yet. Like I said earlier, we need to set some storage permissions on these devices. So on the Fire TV stick, you're going to hit the home button on your remote, move to the end of the list, hover over the gear icon, move down, go into my Fire TV. Now I want to go into developer options. Now, if this is a newer device and you haven't enabled developer options yet, what you wanna do is go into About, highlight the name of your Fire TV device, and click it seven times. And you're gonna see at the bottom, I get the message, no need, you are already a developer because I've already done that. When you do it for the first time, it will say you are now a developer. When you see that message, hit the back button on your remote, developer options will be available. Go into that, install unknown apps, Highlight Downloader, click it, and that will turn on unknown apps. And what this allows us to do is install applications not available within the Amazon App Store, which is referred to as sideloading. Now, if you're on an older Fire TV device, there's just going to be one toggle that covers all of the applications on the system. Go ahead and just turn that one button on. Okay, I'm going to go back to the home screen. Now, since this is an application I use on a regular basis, I want to add that to my main row here. So I'm going to go into the screen that shows all of my applications, move down. I'm going to highlight Downloader. I'm going to hold down on the OK button of my remote for a few seconds while highlighting the app. And now I'm going to use the directional pad. Move this up onto the main row. And you can just place this wherever you'd like it on this main row. For now, I will just add this to the front of the list. Click the OK button again to drop it into place. Now when I go back to the home screen, it's here front and center. OK, I'm going to go ahead and launch Downloader. Click OK for the release notes. We can now start using the Downloader application. And I will show you an example of how this works. I'm going to click the Up button on my remote. Put the cursor in the URL box. Click the OK button. And I'm going to type in 250931. This opens the free TroyPoint toolbox that will allow us to install all kinds of applications not available within the Amazon App Store. Okay, when this page first loads, I like to add this as a favorite within the downloader app. We use the TroyPoint toolbox in a lot of our tutorials, so it's good to have this in the favorites section. So I'm going to hold down on the OK button of my remote for a few seconds, add current page to favorites, move down, click save, and now in the future, when you come in here, you can click Troy Point Toolbox under favorites. It opens immediately without waiting for the five second load screen with the ads. OK, I'm going to push the down arrow on the remote to scroll. You're going to see there's all kinds of different applications that we can install through this page. Each application comes with a tutorial link that you can read more about the application on the TroyPoint website. Back button to go back to the toolbox. One of the most popular apps that is downloaded through the toolbox is the recent release of Surfshark. This is always pointing to the most recent stable release. Many times the official app stores are behind on the versions that they provide and you can always get the latest and greatest apps on this page. I'm gonna hit the download button. If you don't have a quality VPN yet, you will find a discount link for Surfshark in the notes below. I'm gonna hit install. 
Now, I don't want to open the app just yet. I want to hit done. And the reason for that, we want to get rid of these installation files. There's no need to ever leave these on the device. So I'm going to hit delete and then delete again. Home button on the remote. Go back to the page that shows all of our applications. And you're going to see the downloader app worked as it should. And Surfshark VPN has been installed. By the way, now that you have Downloader, be sure to get my free guide on how to install secret app stores on your Fire TV or Android TV, Google TV device. These secret app stores include hundreds of apps not available in Amazon App Store or Google Play and open endless possibilities for your streaming device. To get the guide, simply click the link in the video description or scan this QR code with the camera app on your phone or tablet, input your email address, and the free guide will be delivered to your inbox. Okay guys, now I'm gonna move over to my on 4K Pro Android TV box, and I'm going to install and set up the downloader app on this device. Now before I do that, I want to go into settings, apps, security, and I want to turn off scan apps with Play Protect. Now this causes lots of headaches when trying to sideload applications on Android TV devices. It tries to stop you from doing that. That's why we want to turn this off. Okay, back to the home screen. Now I want to install the downloader app. Now most people will move over to apps, move down, try to use this box here for searching. Sometimes that will work and sometimes it won't. There is a bug in Android TV that sometimes prevents it from searching properly. So what I like to do is hold down on the microphone button of the remote and say, open Google Play. Okay. What that will do is open the actual Google Play App Store. We're gonna get more accurate results doing it this way. Hover over search, move down, hit the microphone button, downloader. Now again, I want to warn you, there are imposters out there trying to pose as the official downloader app. Stay away from these. The one you want, is Downloader by AFTV News. And there again, towards the top near the title, it says AFTVNews.com. I'm gonna go ahead and hit install. Now things are a little bit different setting storage permissions on Android TV devices as compared to Fire TV devices. What I wanna do is click the open button, click OK. I'm gonna do the same thing I did earlier on the Fire Stick. I'm gonna move up, click the OK button on the remote to open the keyboard, type in the code, two, five, zero, nine, three, one. Hit enter, long press the OK button, add current page to favorites, save, down arrow on the remote to scroll, hit download for Surfshark. So the first time you try to install an app on Android TV through Downloader, you're gonna see this here. For some reason, you can't get to these settings on Android TV. You just have to do this the first time you try to install something. So I want to go into settings, and I want to turn on unknown apps for downloader. Once we do that, we get this message here. And if for some reason you don't see this prompt on your device, what you want to do is click the back button on the remote to go back to the previous screen. You may need to go through the download process again. Install. Now, if you see this, make sure you click the decline button. We turn that off in the earlier step. I'm gonna hit done, back button. And just like we did on the fire stick, I want to hit delete and delete again for the installation file. We don't need that taking up valuable space on the system. Home button on my remote. And I showed this on the fire stick. I also wanna show you how you can reorder these apps on the home screen. I wanna move this to the front. I'm going to highlight it, hold down on the okay button for a few seconds, move. Use the left arrow on the remote, and I'm gonna put this at the beginning of the list. Hit the OK button again, and then done. Now we all know there are awesome applications that we can sideload onto these streaming devices, but we can also put those same apps on Android phones and tablets. So now I'm gonna move over to my Android tablet and show you how to set up Downloader on that. Okay, on my tablet, I want to open Google Play Store, tap the search button at the bottom, Tap the search apps and games bar at the top. Type in downloader. Tap downloader in the list below. And here towards the top, we have downloader by AFTV News. I'm going to tap that. 
install. Now, before opening it, I want to grant the storage permissions. So I'm going to swipe down from the top, hit the gear icon, and I'm going to go into biometrics and security. And then you're going to see the option for install unknown apps. Now, if for some reason you're having a hard time finding where that is on your tablet, you can just hit the search icon in settings, type in unknown, hit the search button on the keyboard, and you're going to see here we have different areas we can access this. Install unknown apps, and this lists all the applications on the device. You'll see downloader. I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. Back to the home screen. You'll see downloader at the bottom of the list. I'm going to go ahead and launch that. Hit the OK button. I'm going to tap the search bar at the top. Enter the code for the toolbox 250931. Hit next. I'm going to scroll down. The great thing about this Surfshark VPN app, the same app works for the phone, tablet, and streaming devices. So I can go ahead and hit the download button for that. Install. Decline. Surfshark app installed. I'm going to hit done. And again, just like on the other devices, delete the installation file, delete again, Surfshark VPN is now installed. So those are the steps for installing the Downloader app on any Android-based system. Don't forget to get my free guide that shows how to unlock the full potential of your Fire Stick or Android TV, Google TV device by installing secret app stores. Again, the link for this free guide is located in the video notes and pinned comment below or you can scan this QR code with the camera app on your phone or tablet. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Please be sure to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon to be notified when I release new videos like this in the future. And as always, have an awesome day, and thanks for following Troy Point.